welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. I am here at Eagle Point and um, I'm gonna be teaming up with a subscriber that reached out to me that's local. Um, we're gonna be fishing and we're gonna be crabbing so come along with me and see what we catch for the day. Um, I'll add her in the clip once she arrives but it's really early. It's just I think just 740 in the morning so let's get this day started. Also I want to show you guys I have finally updated my um, cotton um, um, crab baskets because as y'all seen last time, if you haven't seen my last video, please go back. Um, I'll put the description in the, um, I'll put the link in the description, but the crabs were so big out there and they were so vicious that they just obliterated my cotton um, uh, nets. So I got some metal ones now. I will invest in some weights if I like go somewhere where there's a bunch of current. But for now, these are absolutely great. I'm excited. I got the lat, there was like four of them. Um, I got these at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, they were um, $9.99 a piece. So yeah, um, these are great. I can't wait to try them out. All right, I am set up right now and I got my fishing reel right here with some shrimp on it. I also um, got my um, crab baskets out here already and then <clears throat> as you can see I got my chicken on a string ready to go I'm probably just gonna throw them out here and I may I may throw one over here I'm gonna try to um, crab on this side I usually don't crab on this side I usually crab on the other dock um, I'm gonna give it probably um, an hour over here and then I'm going to migrate to that um, dock and see um, what we catch over there but I'm just now getting my lines in the water so hopefully there's something over here but it's really pretty as y'all know um, hurricane is going to be coming soon so um, we're just trying to get out here and do the best we can and hopefully um, it doesn't scare all the fish away and all the crabs away afterwards because I would love to come back out here after the hurricane so stay tuned it is absolutely beautiful right now right before the hurricane is coming so don't be fooled it's on its way super duper beautiful today There we go. Crab on. Sweet. That didn't take long. Nice. All right, guys, I've been out here for like two hours and I've only caught one crab. I don't know if it's because of the hurricane coming, but it's time to pivot. So since I'm in um, NPR, I'm gonna go to Waterfront and see if it's gonna be a little bit better over there. If not, there are plenty of places I can go crabbing in NPR. So that's what you have to remember. Don't give up and just pivot, pivot, pivot. If you cannot find a place that you're not, you know, crabbing good at, just pivot and go somewhere else. So um, I will meet you guys over there. As we made it to Waterfront Park. Just caught one, guys. And he's pretty nice. Off the new basket. All right, guys, I got the second one in the second basket. They are doing really well. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Watching the tide roll away. Okay, I'm gonna quit single, but I've been getting a bite, so hopefully I will catch something out here. And 
for all you people that was in the comments last time, I am using shrimp, so don't come at me. Stood up. Dang. Golly. They're over here, but I'm just gonna have to keep sitting down until I bring them in, because as soon as I stand up, they just drop off. Golly. You want my thing? Oh, they got caught up in my thing. Okay, there we go. I just have to keep sitting down because the water's so clear they can just see me. Alright guys, it has not been the greatest day. I've only caught three crabs in three hours. I think it's because of this hurricane coming. It's got like the water super clear. Um, I just feel like the pressure is coming so the crabs are not really biting as much but i'll be lucky if i get five today but um yeah everybody be safe if you're in the eye of the storm definitely be safe because as you can see it's pretty blue and uh you know once the storm comes you know people gonna know so uh if you're out and about, make sure you get your water, your supplies, if you are in the eye of the storm and everybody stay safe out there. So let's continue to crab and fish. If there's anything on these. Okay. Nothing on this one. This one. Nothing on this one. All right, guys, I just caught two of them in my basket. Had to let them soak out there, but hey, I got some. Crab on. Just a small one, but hey, got him. Ah! Yep, just a little baby. Okay, hey. Crab on, guys, we got a swimmer. Crab on. He looks really big too. He's pulling all his might. Got a swimmer. Pulling up to the surface. Woo! Got him, guys. Woohoo! All right. I knew I had a swimmer on there. Throw it back out. guys he is not letting go either Let's see if we can get him up to the surface yep he let go he's coming back though oh no he's not either maybe oh dag of it when you forget your bucket at the car and you catch a crab you have to improvise so <laughs> I had a crab in my basket as you can see and I just hung it on the pillar until I got back and now I can put it in my basket I mean in my bucket all right oh, there we go y'all these uh baskets are doing awesome yeah, I'm still out here. Not really having a lot of uh, good juju out here. It's super pretty, it's hot, but uh, this uh, hurricane is not helping at all. Like, usually this water is not as clear as it is. And um, every time I'm reeling the crab in, which I'm not even filming, every time I'm reeling the crab in, um, they're letting go because they see me. And um, so I've only probably caught 
five crabs, maybe six. So it's not the best day, but I think after the hurricane, it may pick up a lot more, but I think they're starting to sense that something is coming up here. Um, I think by the time it reaches like the Tampa Bay area, it may be like a one or two. I think it's gonna be like a two or a three by the time it hits like the panhandle, the bin, big bin. Um, so yeah, it's it's been really slow today. So I'm sorry if I'm boring y'all with the content that's not really exciting because there's really nothing to be excited about and I've been fishing as well I haven't caught any fish at all I've been um, using um, uh, shrimp and uh, they've been taking it but there's nothing big on it so um, yeah I'm gonna you know sit out here for a few more minutes or an hour and then I'm gonna have to end there's just I don't have a, I don't have enough content to keep filming so um i'm not gonna just sit here and just fry in the sun and not show y'all any crabbing videos or um a video of me catching a fish because it's just not happening at the moment so i'm gonna give it a few more minutes to an hour and then i'll catch y'all whenever i get back at home and show you the final count crab on guys All right, and I'm sitting in my chair. I'm gonna try not to get up because they can see me. Yeah, big crab on, big crab on. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a big one too. All right, let's see if we can get him. Hopefully we can get him. Oh, perfect guys. Look at that. Nice big old crab for you. Welcome back. I am finally at home after a long hot day. I did manage to catch Some blue crabs. I caught eight of them today um, They've been chilling on ice. So they're nice and uh, you know calm right now. I Will be showing you how to pop them open and clean them. It is not a fun job They do smell like straight-up seafood. So if you're squeamish look away um, I am in the backyard today on my porch, you know, because I do not want to clean these in the house. I don't know how some YouTubers clean them in their sink. I have to use the water hose. So I'm going to use the water hose. I'm going to clean them off and I will take you along with me during the process. All right, let's get started. So we're just going to take the first one that's on top right here this is what he looks like and uh, first you're gonna get him like this he's missing a few legs but that's okay you're gonna put your hand underneath where his legs are you're gonna take the side right here I'm trying to show y'all there we go and then you're gonna pop it to the side you're just gonna grip it uh oh hold on just a second you're gonna grip his legs and pop him to the side just like that. You're gonna get his guts and everything. I'm sorry, he's still alive too. Oh, I'm so sorry. But this is what he looks like inside. You see the dead man fingers and everything. What I'm just gonna do, or what I do, is just take the water hose and I'm just gonna squirt it off. I'm gonna stand up and do it. So it won't flash on me. And you're just gonna remove his gills. Just like that. And you're just gonna remove his face. Just like so. Just make sure you remove all the dead man fingers. 
And if you want to squirt all that out, um, you can. Um, and that's how you clean the first crab right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, squirt a little bit more out and clean them out. But that's how you, um, you know, clean the blue crab. All right, we're gonna do one more. Here's one right here. They're kind of coming back to life, so I gotta hurry up. Um, he don't have, I don't know what's up with, uh, they don't have no legs on this side. But anyways, you're gonna take his legs just like this. I like to fold them down, you know, to get a grip and you're just going to pull the side. You're gonna just pull the sides off, just like this. Just like that. That's what they look like inside. This is what they look like. Make sure you remove the dead men um, gills. I'm sorry, buddy. They are still alive, so you have to take that in consideration. make sure you get all the dead man claws not claws I'm sorry gills and then you will be left with just that inside and then I'm just gonna squirt it out and we're good to go look at the barnacle on this dude look how big it is you see that? That's a huge barnacle. And he's got him on his legs too. And then there's two more right there. Crazy. All right, guys, it is finally dinner time and I wanted to just show you what I whipped up for dinner. Um, here are the crabs from earlier, right there. Um, and I also made some sauteed green beans with garlic and I did um, some potatoes and then I made a um, garlic lemon green onion lemon zest garlic chili oil dipping butter so I'm excited to try that I was like what can I zest this regular old butter up with I put some garlic chili oil in here and it is divine like I said today was pretty rough I think it's because the crabs were like sensing that there's a hurricane coming. Um, the water wasn't the greatest at all. Um, it was very hot. Um, there was hardly nothing biting. I was fishing with shrimp, so yay for me. Um, I didn't catch anything. Nothing was biting out there. I was surprised to get eight crabs today because we started off at um, Eagle Point and a subscriber um, messaged me and she wanted to crab with me and fish with me. So we did meet up at Eagle Point. Um, we tried to conquer as many docks as we could and we just didn't have any success at all. Only caught one crab in like maybe two hours and i was like look we gotta pivot so we went to the waterfront park um in port ritchie and um yeah we got out there it was really slow um but i did manage to catch um seven crabs out there so a total of eight crabs today um so it wasn't that bad um it was extremely hot usually i will stay out all day but I just didn't. So I left, I came home, started prepping the yard, taking down things. Guys, you know, the hurricane is coming. Um, I don't know where it's going. This is Wednesday the 24th. So um, it can be shifting east, it can be shifting west. We don't know, but I know that we're gonna get high winds. So I've been on the back porch moving things around, making sure nothing's gonna fly. Um, but the Panhandle, the Big Bend area, they're gonna get it. That's where my family's from um, and living at the moment. And that's where I'm from, is from the Florida Panhandle between Tallahassee and Panama City. So they are prepping as much as they can. Um, I told my brother if he needs to leave Tallahassee because it looks like it's gonna hit Tallahassee, he needs to he needs to go tomorrow. Like no ifs or buts about it. So if you do live in Florida and you are in the cone of it, please be safe, please prepare, fill up your bathtubs, fill up your 
washing machines, do whatever you gotta do, put waters in your freezer and freeze them. It will keep your refrigerator cool because that water that is frozen will drift down into the um, refrigerator area and keep your freezer cool. Do whatever you got to do, please stay safe. Um, I'm still watching the weather to see what it's like. Um, thank goodness that Tampa's not gonna get a direct hit. Um, they have not been hit in about 60 to 80 years, like a direct hit. We've only got aftermath. So um, very blessed that it's not coming straight for us because I think that would just be catastrophic. But um, I appreciate everybody that's been supporting me on this channel. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. I can just feel it. Um, I've been working really hard to get that and you know, um, I'm just proud of myself to get back on the YouTube train and, you know, get at it and find something that I really liked. And, um, one day, excuse me, one day I will let you know how I got into crabbing and how I got into YouTube. I have to make a video about that. It, it'll be very short. I may get emotional, but it will be very short. Thank you so much for subscribing, watching, liking, commenting. I always try to respond to everybody. I do not try to respond to people with negative comments. I'm sorry, you will be blocked because I am in charge of my channel and I don't put up with any negativity. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for almost getting me to a thousand, which I know I'm gonna hit maybe in a week or so. So I'm excited about that. If you have not liked and subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me, it helps the algorithm, it helps other people find my channel. It just helps everybody around. It just shows people that you can do things that are solo um, as long as you have, you know, common sense and a little bit of safety tools you can have fun and that's what my channel is about it's about solo adventures food reviews going on vacation just living life as it goes so i appreciate all you guys i am starving i am about to chow down on these crabs and potatoes and green beans so i will catch you guys on the next adventure and like i said if you are in the path please be safe if you want to comment that you are and just let me know that you are safe, that would be greatly appreciated. So I'm going to let you guys go. Let me dig in and I will see you on the next adventure.